The next thing to do, that generated code, I'll close this save in the folder that we have created as a project. The next thing to do is do a simulation. So we got to activate the state bench. Likewise, optimize the output. Right here, we got the resulting uh, let me, yeah, it, we have here the superimposed, essentially overlapped it, the resulting uh, simulation waveform window. And it, it recognizes our uh, initial variable like uh, reset x1, z, and clock. And it indicated this is some sort of finite state machine one. It implement the state in using register and give us a small portion of the initial signal. To make it simpler, sim I, you can, of course, I, uh, supply your own uh, input X1 reset, think I wrote, but I will use the automated test bench generation. So I click that, check the automatic, this automatic test bench pops up. I tell him to begin and he recognized my previous work. So I, I told him just override it. So he has generated this test bench VHDL source code, which is rather lengthy. I will not step through them. The final outcome of that is a waveform. So I'll close this, that is the result. Let, since this is just a simulation, it is advisable for us to examine whether it is valid or not. Remember our purpose is to detect 101. So right here, the first signal that changes to high, which is active is reset. So the machine start out at some initial state S0 and on the next clock, he detected a zero on the input, so the machine moved to state one. Here he detected a one, so he moved to the next state S2. Here he detected, uh, that is still S, uh, that is still S1. Then he detected an input of zero, it moved to S2. He detected a zero it moved to S0. The third, this clock here detected a one, so he moved to S1. Here detected a zero, moved to S2. Here he detected a one, and then the output is generated. If we want to add some more to it, we can manually do it, of course, let us, uh, well, that's probably good. To, to, to continue this manually, how about, since this is, uh, the last detection is uh, zero in, and we like to detect 101. Let us try to supply here a one for X. So click this X here, double click there. And notice the output startup because this is one O and then one here. So immediately we have an output here. Now we click the single pulse cycle to stretch that. And let us say in the next cycle, we will lower down the X1 right there. And the output also drop. Let us do this twice. Let me shrink it. So let us cycle it some more. And then right here, we will change it to one and then we will uh, cycle it and let us drop this to x to zero so that is our one now let us introduce a 101 here so i got to single step this raise this to one so we will have 101 notice the output is already ready to 
is available. And then if we drop this, that output will also drop. So how simple it is, right? So this is the end of the demo for state card and the state bench. We can save this if we want to. Save test bench. And that is the generated code. Okay, I will stop this.